My team, how are you doing? E.D. here, back in the shed of destruction. Oh, crikey, E.D., that's a bit strong. Uh, episode 12 um, is coming along quite nicely. I have uh, stopped press. I have developed, uh, through a series of, of, of daily processes, I have developed a new cleaning process. Okay, you've got your aqua blasting, your soda blasting, you know, you've got vapour blasting, you've got media blasting, you've got all that kind of stuff. The new process I've, I've just invented is finger blasting. Yes, finger blasting, I hear you cry. Yes, basically, it's a Stanley blade, or other blades are available, and you use your forefinger on the blade to, to blast off uh, the muck and crud off of a really scabby piece of alloy. Anyway, let me show you what, what I mean. Here we go, just say it's like that piece there, shall we say. So you get your finger on there, and you start blasting. Okay. The beauty of this process is... Job satisfaction. Now, can I show you any more crud? Yeah, there's plenty of crud in here. Oops, didn't blast at the right angle there. Let's blast that a little bit. No, nope, a bit more up there. Yeah. It's not really, because I'm at an angle there and it's a bit fiddly fiddly. Let's show you something else. Uh, okay, let's show you in here. This is where the back brake lever sits to actuate the, excuse me, the shoes. And you, you literally skim at an angle. See all the crap falling off? You literally skim it. And once you've got all of that salty residue off of there, you can then uh, get your petrol on your on your little stipple brush and you can get brush blasting. Who knew? You know, I'm uh, going to patent this for sure. I'm going to give the old patent office a ring uh, uh, tomorrow morning. So, yeah, I know somebody's been in this engine. Um, I have... I digress a bit there. I have five out of the six oil seals for this engine so i need to source another one and i have most of the bearings there are a couple of bearings that i haven't managed to source yet i'll get that one absolutely beautiful now the thing is all the bearings i've managed to take out so far have been pretty good in all fairness even the big end bearings uh, sorry the crank bearings um and I know somebody's been in this engine, so I'm wondering if it's all been done before. Um, I don't know the exact mileage of the bike, but some work has been done in this engine, and I'll show you why. When I took the cover off of this, and you had all the gubbins, all the gears and selectors and everything in here, you had a white plastic chain tensioner here, and you had a black, where are we? A black chain guide. Yeah, I'm not sure if you remember or not. Anyway, I just slid them off after I took all the gears. I just slid them off, slid that one out, and put it over there in the parts tray, thus. Um, and only after reading some literature on you know, how to take it apart after the effect, after I've actually done it, it does say, quite categorically, to remove the, the tensioner and the guide, get your circlip pliers, and you, you've got to remove the little tiny circlip at the top, and then they sh should just slide off the pin. So if we have a closer look, yeah, there, and there, there were none on there. And there were no bits floating around in the engine. And also I've read somewhere that on one of the shafts, uh, stop it, there are, uh, either side of a gear, there are two yellow plastic washers. Now, I've not seen any of that at all. So I'm kind of, mm, I need to source, I need to speak with somebody who knows the absolute ins and outs of this, this FZ engine. So I can put it back as it is supposed to be, without leaving washers and shims and, and circlips out of it. I, you know, so there we are. Anyway, so yeah, chalk that one up in your book, finger blasting. Um, you can do it yourself or you can get someone else to do it with you. For, uh, yeah, to assist you. Uh, the beauty of it is, okay, it's slow, tedious, but if you like detailing, you'll be in your element. You'll be blasting away all day. 
And the beauty is, it's free, isn't it? There's none of that soda or aqua uh, payments to make and all that kind of stuff. All right, I'm just going to do a bit more blasting. And then we'll call that it for this first part of this episode. I think I need a, a new blaster. <laughs> Yes, it's laborious, but I love it. And I've invented something. So, wow, you know, who, who, who knew? There's that white crusty soft light. See, until you start blasting, you can't actually see, any, see it. But anyway, once you've given it a good, a good scrape, then all is there we go yes it is very slightly scoring in areas but i am going to go over the whole shebang and shaboodle that's better with um wet and dry paper because i think i'm, I'm going to polish this one i've never polished an engine before properly so yeah anyway I'll not bore you any more with that. This should be a good little... There you are. Nicely blasted, sir. Look at that. Lovely. Right. I know you're impressed. Keep it to yourselves, though, until the patent's sorted out. Okay, I don't want anyone else knowing about this finger blasting business. So, uh, yeah. Okay, right, I'm going to leave you there. I'm going to go myself a brew, get myself something to eat. Oh, fancy an Indian. Mm, some Asian cuisine would be lovely this evening. Yeah. Mm, we'll see. All right, catch you in a bit, guys. Don't forget, keep it to yourselves. Hold me, hold me, hold me. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm blast, I mean. Oh, one quick side note before I uh, go and have me brew and me tea. Uh, yeah, finger blasting, uh, you can... It's tricky. You can see there. I wasn't getting much much blasting done with with one hand or one finger. So it's better with two hands. Uh, trust me. Um, so yeah, don't uh, don't be afraid to get your tripod out and, and, and mount your camera in your tripod, and uh, then you can blast away quite happily with two fingers and, and get more more work done, more more progress done. So yeah, top tip there. Right. Definitely brew time now. Happy blasting, folks. Hello, children. It's me, Billy. <laughs> Good morning to you all. I have been blasting away literally all night. I've just given this a nitromores in a well-ventilated area. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning, and I've been out here since about... Um, yeah, there's a long story behind that, but we won't go into that now. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. And I am just literally finishing this piece off here so you can actually see that I am doing this all by hand, and no one at the end is gonna say, Oh, you must have you must have bought new side covers and new cases and everything. Uh, no, I, I I haven't. Oh, look at that coming off. Beautiful. Excuse my armpit. Yeah, so uh, when I paint this, it, it'll come in a little kit form. You'll get two of these special blasters. Uh, 19 Buy one, get one free. Bargain, I reckon. Okay. So yeah, today I am basically um, going to be concentrating on these panels, on, well, the engine cases. And what I'm going to do afterwards, I've got some nice wet and dry here. This is 800 grade, uh, en engine grade uh, wet and dry paper. I will moisten all this and I will be beavering away uh, with this. 
as you can see at the moment, let's put a bit of light on. There, where's the light button? There it is. As you can see, it's very sort of black and silver and scratchy and and all of that. So, yeah. Uh, Blue Peter Styley, here's when I did earlier. I have literally done this now. This is ready for wet and drying. It's completely, completely done. Okay, there's that. Ah, all shiny, shiny. So there, so uh, yeah, I'm going to be concentrating on that. I've cleaned up this back plate. This is the one that holds the uh, magneto type um, gubbins. I managed to clean up where all that water, where, where that seal was broken and all the water got in there and gammed all that up. Uh, I will be uh, sorting that out. Uh, there are a couple more. Um, Peter, tough rat, yours 757, yours is up there now. And I've got to add a couple more guesses to there. Thank you for your guesses. Keep them coming in. Uh, like I say, if you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe and have a guess to win the prize of a lifetime, which is the the watch. I can't think of words to describe the quality of that watch. I really can't. It just it it belies all all everything. So good. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna tart around with this for another another hour or so. No point in, in cutting corners at this stage. So yeah, let me crack on. I've had two brews. Funny enough, my job been here. Like I say, since five. Bit blurry eyed this morning, but uh, there we are. It's all good. Plenty to get on with. Once I've done the engine cases, I'll give them a, 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 a light, a light polish, if you like. I haven't got any cutting compound. What I'm going to try is got an old, an old um, uh, tea cut. I've, I've had the bottle literally thirty odd years, and it's just, it's just been sat in there. Now that's quite, a, that's sort of an abrasive, isn't it? So I'm going to try that. On the wheel, and I will use. I've got a selection of different pant uh, pads, uh, different pads. So I will try, you know, dab a little bit of tika on these and whir it round and see what happens. This is my first time at polishing alloy in this manner, so yeah, I've got a, a buffing wheel so I can buff it up, and then I've got. Lamb's wool pads, so I can give it some of that, just to see what happens. Um, if it, if it comes out the way I'm I'm hoping it will, with with lots of elbow grease, I'm going to lacquer it. I think. Um, yeah, I'm going to lacquer it, and I will stick them in the oven, just to bake that on. Before I lacquer it, I'm going to heat them up in the oven first a little bit to sort of 75 degrees. Um, then I will lacquer, then I will put it in the oven. So it's um, paint and lacquer sticks to metal better if it's above freezing. And it's pretty much freezing in the shed right now. Mind you, I have had my heat gun on, uh, and that's been a good heater. So I'm I'm not going to catch a cold or anything, so that's good. Right, without further ado, I need to crack on with this. So you guys go and have your bacon butties and your whatever you want to do, and your coffees, and, that, and I'll catch you back here in a wee while. Right, I'm just about there. I've started giving it a little bit of a wipe over with this stuff, which is... Well, I can't remember what it was now. Anyway, I'm going to transfer my work over to the drill there. I've got an assortment of uh, grades here. We start with 240. I've got lower, but I don't want to go too coarse on this. I want to see how it goes with the 240 first. 320, 400, we've got a 1200, uh, 400, 800, 1200. And we've got 2,000, which is basically just paper. No, it's not. <laughs> so let's get a 240 on there, on the sticky pad. Try and get it as central as possible so it doesn't wibbly wobble left and right too much. Okay, I think we're there. Right, let's stick it in the, the drill. 
Summer breeze. Got a bit of tidying up here to do, so I can actually use the uh, the piece here, uh, dipping it in the parts cleaner, and going from there. Really, right. Okay, that's ready. Let's put that back up there on the little magnet. All right. Uh, let me have a tidy up, and then we'll get polishing or grinding, whichever. Okay, let's get ready to rumble. Just one look at you, and the world's all I can do. Just one look at you, <laughs> and I know it's gonna be. Just wanna look at you. Yeah, that's gonna take some grinding, isn't it? It's getting there. Yeah, it's getting there. So boy oh boy, that's gonna take a while. I might end up having to do it by hand. I think it's better with a hand job, don't you? Sweet dreams are made of beans. Who am I to take the things? Yeah, it's kind of 
trying to get in there. It's just going to take a little while, isn't it? Let's get, let's get the right angle as well. Get the wrong angle, it judders. Intricate parts are going to be a right pain in the jacks, aren't they? And this is the contour twists on the end there, so that's uh, making my life a bit more difficult. The girls go by. I do I poker in the eye. It's suddenly dawned on me. We're talking like four or five days for each piece. Anyway, I'm, I'm kind of, it's kind of working, isn't it? 
if I can get the majority of the face done, I'll be able to do the sides by, uh, by hand. Simple as that. Not too bad, is it? For a, a rough gauge of what needs to be done. Let's uh, turn the old jukebox of, of, of deafness down a couple of pegs. Right. Yes. It's different, isn't it? I might just lightly go across that face. Nah. Nah, I don't think so. That's come up quite well. Okay, well, from a distance, if you squint and look the other way, it's not bad, is it? I mean, from what it was, you guys saw what it was. It had this part here. It was like um, like a, a brick face. It was blah, blah, blah. Um, you could almost braille. You could almost read that. So yeah, okay. But I think that'll do for the time being. Catch you in a bit. Right, I've resorted to wet and dry because these pads aren't wet and dry, and I've been soaking them and they've been falling apart. 
Sadly, I've only got 800 and I need to get something a little bit more coarse to work on this. So I'm going to have to pop down health rods uh, and a bit and get some sheets of wet and dry and a couple of tins of elbow grease. Because this is... I mean, it's pointless to be doing this, actually, because that's the wrong paper. It's just going to take forever. Let me just show you where I'm at at the moment. Okay. Two secs. Okay. So we're at so far. It's not bad, is it? Generally, overall, I haven't done the edges obviously because that's that's really fiddly. But yeah, it's getting there. But this paper is is too fine. I need to get the gouges out first. And all that dark greyness and all that out before I go over it with the 800 and then the 1200. Just pointless, pointless effort there, wasting, wasting my precious energy. Right, oh, I'm not, not sure how many minuteages this is. Might be the end of this video, not sure. If, if the credits come up, it's the end. If not, catch you in a bit. Thanks for looking and like and subscribe. Cheers, guys, take it easy.